April 10th, 2013. One of the biggest landslides in North American history buries the Kennecott Copper Mine in Utah. There's upwards of 160 million tons came from up above and ran down to the bottom of the mine. The debris over 1,200 meters deep. Miraculously, no one was injured. Engineers realized the soil was moving and evacuated the mine. People knew it was inevitable. People knew it was going to happen. Um, we prepared before the slide happened, and, uh, and everybody was ready when it did. But now the ground is unstable and treacherous. They're too dangerous for workers to get back in the mine, making the cleanup a daunting task. The top up, up there of the land side poses the highest, the most challenges for us, but the top is where we have the most risk. This is Cody Sutherland, the man in charge of getting this mine back up and running. We're starting up top and we're working our way down. He's using a fleet of remote control machines to tackle the risky cleanup. Specifically designed for this job by a local Utah robotics company. When we were approached uh, with this problem from Kennecott, uh, we had three weeks to come with, up with a solution. So we made a solution specifically for them and for their problem. Today, Cody is pushing the limits of the machines and their operators. So the area directly behind us poses the highest number of challenges for us uh, due to slope and potential failures for us. The equipment that we use with the remotes allows us to go in there and reduce those slopes so that we can get it back to a safe configuration. Everything that we do remote is line of sight so we can see the machine and see where it's at and give the appropriate control commands. This is a uh, difficult process for an operator to learn. We take our advanced operators and actually train them on the remotes to do the work. The remotes can be ran outwards of 1,500 feet or from right up close. With this stick, when I move it to the left or to the right, it'll swing the machine to the right. If I pull it back towards me, the stick on the machine will move towards the operator's cab. Today, we are clear 80,000 tons. That's 32 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Impressive, but only a tiny fraction of the 165 million tons of material needed clear. We have to move millions of tons of material in order for us to get back in the mine. This is a monumental effort. We see lots of challenges ahead of us, but we're confident in the challenges that we'll be able to overcome them and become the premier copper producer that we once were.